Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, it won't be long before Thanksgiving now. And um, I got something to go along with the Thanksgiving meal for the ones that have, uh, haven't, you know, that's going to prepare a Thanksgiving meal. <laughs> uh, guys, I will be sharing with you today how I make one can of my giblet gravy. I make it more than one way but this is a quick and easy way to make it but it's absolutely delicious and you guys will appreciate the one that tried will appreciate me for it okay guys and this is a subscriber request uh when Brittany was doing the uh, november birthday live yesterday somebody asked on there uh could I, you know, ask about the giblet gravy, and I knew I was going to be making some today to put in the freezer to get just to get it on out the way. Okay, so guys, let me tell you what we're going to need for this, and um, then I'm going over to the stove and show you just how quick and easy to make this delicious giblet gravy. Okay, guys, with this giblet gravy right here, I don't have the giblets out of the turkey because I'm not even doing a turkey. But you know how the turkey have the the neck, the uh, gizzard, and the liver in there? Okay, I don't have that. And I'm not going to put liver in this today, guys. But you can put, boil you some liver and put in there if you so want to. But what I have today is um, I got some chicken gizzards. I took a pack of chicken gizzard. I boiled them in some... Uh, I just put them in some water, clean them up real good, put them in water, and put maybe about a tablespoon of the uh, chicken bouillon uh, seasoning over in them, and black pepper, and you know you have to boil them a pretty good while. I probably boiled them a couple hours so that they could be tender enough. Uh, they'll be tender enough. So I have one cup of that. You can use more if you want to. And then I have two boiled eggs. You could use more of them if you want to. It's according how much you make. But I'm not making a whole lot of it, guys. So that's the reason I have this amount on there. And okay, behind that, guys, I have two packs of turkey gravy. Two packs of turkey gravy. Whatever brand name, whatever brand that you use in your gravies or whatever, you just use that kind. Use use that. And um and if you use, if you go make, uh, if you prefer chicken, uh, if you having like chicken and gravy, you can also um, use the uh, chicken gravy mix. Okay, and I got this uh, poultry season over there, guys. I will probably use about a fourth a teaspoon of that, and then I got that black pepper behind there. I probably be using about a half a teaspoon of that, and then with that chicken stock. A chicken broth, whichever one you call it, I'm going to be using a cup and a half of that. And with that chicken broth, I'm going to take my gravy packs and those two packs of gravy that I mix I have there. I'm going to put them in a cup and then I'm going to put a cup and a half of that uh, chicken broth on there. I'm going to mix it up with that instead of the cold water that's directed on the pack. And then in that uh, other measuring cup there, guys... I have one cup of the, um, the the broth from the chicken gizzards I use. Now you guys can, now if you want to use a, whatever broth level from the chicken gizzard, if you make it more, feel free. But this is the way I make this. And then I have, um, that's probably about three tablespoons of butter. Three tablespoons of butter. And that's all you guys you're going to need to make this delicious, uh, giblet giblet gravy so what i'm going to do guys when i pop off i'm going to be back over at the stove i'll be over at the stove and i'm going to take that a cup of um broth from the gizzards and i'm going to have that i'm going to have it already in the pot with the gizzards i'll probably have the gizzards and the eggs and stuff already in there and then i'm going to have those two packs a gravy mix already mixed in the uh, chicken broth and then we're gonna go from there okay guys I'll see you over at the stove okay you, you back on right 
-hmm. Okay, guys, I got that uh, one cup of uh, that, uh, that broth from those gizzards over in here. And then I went ahead on to put my butter in here. And I also done put my uh, portrait season and black pepper on there. Guys, and you're going to... Um, you're going to season this. Now, if you need more salt and anything up in there, you can. that's going to be to your taste. But I'll tell you what. Now, when I, when I cook my gizzards, I season them. I, mean, I told you I put the black pepper in the... Uh, in the chicken. Chicken seasoning over there. Okay, guys, now you see, can you see how I got the uh, gizzards chopped up? I got the gizzards chopped pretty fine. Could they see them, though? Yeah. Just going to go ahead on and put that over there. Guys, this is so simple, but like I say, it's absolutely delicious. and ain't a whole lot of work in it. Now, I brought my chicken broth over here. Because when I go ahead on and put this here, um, okay, you see that this is the, uh, this is the turkey gravy packs mixed with the uh, chicken stock. Okay, I'm going to go ahead on and I'm let it come back up to a bowl when I put those gizzards in there, slow it down a minute. Uh, well, yeah, I brought this broth back over here, so when it's, you know, it's, it, in case I have to thin it out some, once this um, gravy start to thicken. Okay, gonna start like boiling. And I'm just going to gradually stir this in. It's like Thanksgiving, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, so good. Sure do. I like giblet gravy. How many of you guys like it? I eat it. I, I eat both of them. The giblet and the um, cranberry. Mm -hmm. Now, like I say, you yeah. adjust this, guys. We're going to dress it. Yeah. That's where it go on. Um. Uh, what else fix to say? What was I saying? You know? <laughs> no. Oh, like like I was saying, I'm just showing you how to make it. But you can adjust this to um if you make it a large amount, you just kinda double it or adjust it or whatever. But uh I'm not making that much, so I'm not going to make up a lot of it. Because uh, the reason I kind of did it this way, guys, like when I make my dressing, I don't cook it off. I, when I don't cook it all, I put it in a large freezer, a gallon-sized freezer bag, and put it in the freezer. And when I get it out to cook, when I get it out to cook a few weeks later, whenever, I just make up some dressing. You know, the gib if I have, you know, I, I don't have the giblets from the turkey. So I just make it up like this. Like I say, you can put your liver in there if you want to. But, um, and I was going to show you that, but, uh, they didn't have any at the store. And I said, well, most of the time I don't do it. I'm kind of letting this come back to a boil. And this is going to thicken up, guys. Because um, if I was made, you know, I'll, sh I'll show you that probably before I, you know, finish making videos, how I make it the, uh, what we got, well, the old-fashioned way. It's two old-fashioned ways that, because it's another way that my, Mama used to fix it. I don't see a lot of people do it that way. It's just one of uh, another step that 
she used to do that I when I fix it the old fashioned way I will show you guys that How many of you guys, I know one person there, how many of you guys have already started uh, uh, preparing your Thanksgiving meal? Here's a minute, uh, big civil spoon behind me. Can y'all see it's already thickening up? Ooh. And the smell of that egg in there. I like lots of, when I do it this way, I like lots of giblets in it. So guys, once it starts to boil like this, I'm going to let it simmer. And finish thickening up, thickening up, and I'll come back and show you guys the finished product. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is the finished product of the delicious Easy Giblet Gravy. And uh, when I was over at the stove and I told y'all how I let it, how I let it came to a boil, and then poured that gravy mix over it, and then when well, it had already came to a boil with the eggs and the uh, gizzard and everything. And the butter. Okay, as I put the uh, gravy mix in it and stirred and stuff, I let it came back to a boil, and then I uh, let it boil for maybe about a minute, and then I turned the uh, burner down on it and let it simmer for maybe about five minutes. But you're gonna have to do that. You you gonna have to be the judge of that, guys, according to how much you making and the stove and everything. And then it's one other thing I want to tell you guys about making the giblet like this here. Now if you make more and you need to uh, thicken it up, put your thickening to it, always make your little cornstarch slur slurry instead of the flour. Now you can make a flour slurry but the cornstarch uh, slurry would be easier. Just put your maybe like um, a tablespoon or two tablespoons of uh, about a tablespoon of uh, cornstarch and maybe about a about a fourth of a cup of water and then just kind of stir it you know gradually just stir it in there till you get your thickness if you need to if your gravy mix don't thicken it up a lot uh when you add more cornstarch to it okay guys so this is it and i'm gonna go ahead on the end of the video and then i'm gonna walk around and show you the uh consistency of it and I'm going to let that gravy cool down. And I got my little old container. And I'm going to put it in. And it going in the freezer. And I'll see it back Thursday. So uh, guys. Um, uh, I enjoyed you guys on the uh, on the live Brittany did yesterday. Oh I had somebody that. Uh, uh, I seen a comment where someone was asking about me and Tuck. And um. I think it's probably somebody new. They probably didn't, didn't understand or didn't know that Brittany do the birthday lives and stuff for me. But they was asking, were we okay and stuff like that. And uh, yes, we're doing pretty good. Uh, giving our praise to the Lord. So we're doing pretty good and everything. But she the one do those birthday lives for us. She be down in Florida. We be up here in Alabama. Uh, yeah. She keep moving on that because I can't, you know. 
I don't know too much about this and stuff. And then I, I can't do, really can't. I can do lives up here. Brittany come up here with her, uh, what kind of phone it is? <laughs> Whatever kind of phone she is. I don't have, we don't have the uh, devices and stuff to go live. But uh, that's okay too. Um, so let me go ahead on guys and end this here video with saying give me a thumbs up guys you uh i need your thumbs up for to support my channel it's either y'all not thumbing up the video for whatever reason if you don't want to thumb it up don't thumb it up but you know i was saying that you know that support all youtube uh creators i mean content creators we put a lot into these videos and stuff like that and i can't even think of you know i don't want to think of any kind any reason what you wouldn't be thumbing up with it because it'll, it'll be in a negative tent and i just try to leave that negative stuff out of my head because we got a lot enough to worry about in this world but thumbs up my video share it out and leave me a comment guys do you like the uh giblet and the cranberry with your dressing because I do. And uh, guys, uh, I hope you all have a real nice, blessed Thanksgiving. Enjoy your family and friends. And eat too much like I'm going to. And we'll just be merry. And because and, uh, I, 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 I'm not sure, I might come back on before Thanksgiving and do a... Uh, another video because I'm not we're not planning anything big and I'm definitely not planning anything big now because I had plans this I wasn't gonna have to do uh that much cooking and stuff. Me and Tuck was gonna get us some chitlins <laughs> and he went out looking for some chitlins and he couldn't find them. I said well like right we didn't need them but uh I get them next year. Them scoundrels won't get all them chitlins not next year. When we gonna when you gonna look for some more to next week? Um, New Year's, New Year's, uh, New Year's. Christmas, Christmas, New Year's. <laughs> no, we, I probably want one food with them. Yeah, probably New Year's because that's the either Thanksgiving and New Year's when we like to eat our chillings, chitlins. So we gonna we gonna we gonna be on the lookout for them um, next week. Starting next week, we didn't think it was gonna be hard to find them like that, but I would like. Yeah, they sell them out. They say they sell them out fast as they get them. How many stores did you go to? Went to three. With the Walmart. They said they had two cases in that morning. They didn't get them out good and they were gone. Oh, really? But they said they had some more back in the middle of the week. Around the 22nd, 23rd, he said. But that'll probably be the same way. You ain't there when they get there. When, uh, when they get them in and put them out, they probably won't be there long. We'll be there. And then when you, you get out of work, uh, Mara checked out in Dothan. Just whenever you see them, get them. We, you know, I'm not gonna cook. I probably won't fool with them before uh, now, but uh, just get them and we'll put them in the freezer and have it. So, guys, I'm gonna end this in video like I normally do. Think positive, use your common sense, and they may love you guys. Now, let me go over here and uh, show you the uh, consistency of this gravy before I forget. Okay, let me move around. It's hot. Yes, like I say, you can, you can. Uh, this is the way I like mine. I don't like it too thick, but you put it, you know, like you like yours, and um, you can put more eggs, more anything in it. That's totally up to you. Okay, guys, so y'all can see how the thickness of it, and uh, I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. And say bye. Bye, you guys.